Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Extensions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Gutenberg tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 15. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we apply CSS styles over created blog. Back to editor. Inside last video, this is the post we have developed. Click on this view link. So inside this page or post, this is the content what we have provided via our custom Gutenberg blog. Back to admin panel, click on this edit link. Now inside this, as we can see here that this is the post title and this is the content what we have added via our custom blog. Now inside this video, we are going to add some CSS over this message as well as over this front-end message because right now there is no CSS applied so we want that some background color some text color some let's say about font families we are going to apply so that this simple message looks much better so how can we apply the CSS over this message so we have two options available either we can make our, our CSS object inside this JavaScript file or we can pass inside this attributes list or in alternative way or the perfect way that these are the two files called editor.css as well as style.css that we have made for the styles over admin layout as well as over for the front end because these two files we have already linked with this blog. So let's say that we are going to apply some CSS and this is editor.css file. So this file will apply the CSS over our admin layout of the blog. So let's say that WP OWT blog and inside this we are going to put some background color. So let's say it should be red and I'm going to put let's say color means text. Let's say that it will be white. Now by adding these two CSS only, if I copy this class name back to editor.js and inside this object, we are going to add our first property that is class name and here is the class what we have created. Remember, this class have some CSS over editor.css file. So save all these changes, back to browser, reload this page. Now this is the message or the color applied at our admin layout. We have some background color as well as we have some font color. Now let's say that if we want to give some padding, so back to CSS and let's say here we have a padding attribute inside this let's say 10 pixel, save this change, reload this page. Now this time we have some padding inside this style. If we go inside this front end, reload this page. Now here inside this front end, we have no CSS. It's because for the CSS of the front end, we have style.css file as we have linked all about the different CSS file. So before that, if we inspect this HTML block, go here inside this code. Now as we can see that inside this paragraph tag, this is the class what we have developed inside editor.css file. So by the help of this class, we have actually applied the CSS over this message. So let's say that in the same way, we are going to add some class over this and by the help of that class, we will do some CSS. So back here, let's say that open up call style.css, let's say WP, OWT, let's say user CSS and here inside this let's say background color we want something let's say gray and next we want something color equal to white and let's say padding I want something 10 pixel. Now inside editor we have our red color background but inside front end we have gray color background back to javascript file 
now same attribute we need to add to save to database table it's because by saving this data it renders our data to our front-end pages so here inside this I'm to class name and inside this class name property I'm going to add this class name so copy and pasting it here so go here and let's say that if we will make some changes like let's say adding a sample message and press update button we have updated the message click on view post and go at the front end of this post and inside this no CSS applied again press ctrl F5 to reload this page and no CSS applied if I inspect that let me check about the class name first and here and I think that the editor content is not successfully changed so again if I press ctrl F5 to reload so that our JavaScript should be reload in a proper way and here get rid of this or also let's create another post click on add new add new click on this plus icon I'm clicking on this and this is the CSS we have applied let's say that second post click on publish button and we have successfully posted our post click on this front end link go here and this time we can see guys we have applied the CSS for our front end so this time we have different CSS for this admin panel as well as different CSS for this front end this is only for understanding about how can we apply styles but we have to keep the same CSS over this block as well as this block because the functionality of our Gutenberg block should be same when we set any changes over admin panel it will going to reflect the same thing inside for the front-end users now this is all about the first way to apply the class name for the styles of these now let's see that in the second way I'm going to make a style element here so let's say a style element and this is all about I'm going to make an object let's say background color so it should be background color and inside this I'm going to put let's say red and inside this let's say that we have color so let's say color we have white value as well as we want some padding so let's say 10 pixel now if we save this change copy this variable name so instead of this class name what I will do only I will put a style here and inside this style I'm going to put this variable name here again remove here this style and putting this style element and this style element basically we have defined right here at the topmost position of this block definition if I make let's say instead of red let's say black to see the changes now save this file back to editor and if I press ctrl f5 to reload again if I click on add new to add another post and to see the changes so let's say that this is our third post and here we are going to add our custom block now inside this we can see that our custom CSS has been applied but this time we have applied by using our jQuery variable if we click on this publishing the post post has been successfully published open into a new tab and inside this also we can see that the same CSS has been applied for the front-end users so this is all about guys how can we apply CSS over our created blog so by going through the video sessions of part 11 to part number 15 we almost took about five video sessions 
to learn about the basic block development in Gutenberg. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.